Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel and today's video we're going to be talking about the PS4 6.50 update that a lot of people are having problems with. You're getting an error code the CE3002-5 PS4 error code. Now I'm going to explain it's taken from the, uh, the official PS4 website in what you should actually do. First off I'm going to drop this into the mix. Uh, is scroll up to notifications, click on notifications, and then you'll see your uh, system software update there. It should say error. You're going to have to uh, scroll down to it and then press delete. Now delete that off there altogether. And next, and next power off your PS4. And if I move over to the uh, Sony website now. Now this is the uh, the PlayStation website and this is what it tells you to do. It's not been updated since the 16th of May 2018. But uh, I'll highlight this bit here. Uh, if you receive this error code while updating the system software, please follow the steps below. On your PS4 system, go to notifications and delete an update notification. We've just deleted that. Turn off your PS4 system. Hold the power button until you hear two beeps. So. Turn off your PS4 system and completely shuts down. Then hold the power button until you hear two beeps, one immediately and one seven seconds later. Your PS4 will now boot into safe mode. Connect your DS4 controller with a USB cable then press the yes button. Then select option three, update system software and then update using the internet. That should hopefully fix it. So once it's done that, PS4 will boot turn it back on you should have updated to 6.5 you should not be receiving the error code but if it didn't work you can go to option so you're going to have to boot back into safe mode do all that again go switch off your ps4 hold the power button down till you hear the two beeps and then select option 5 which will rebuild the database and give that a try so once it's rebuilt the database try and update to the system software in safe mode again so select option three and give that a go and see if you can update it that way. A lot of people saying it's referring down to a broken hardware issue and the hardware issue is the Blu-ray drive. Now people are saying it's working perfectly before the update but for some reason this update checks your hardware as well and it's coming back with a lot of errors. But that's my way of I, how I fix mine. It's not going to work for everyone. There's still loads of people that have done this and are still having the, so, uh, the same problem. It's down to Sony. They need to uh, release a patch so we can get past this error code. But drop any comments in the comment box below. Let me know if it works. Give the video a like, subscribe, and I'll get back to you with another one. Thanks for watching.